Welcome to the Windows channel and this is a tips and tricks for Windows 10 users that have upgraded from Windows 7 or Windows 8 into Windows 10 and they're just wondering, okay, I've got a blue E for internet here, but when I click on it, it looks different and it doesn't have any of my favorites. That's because when you upgrade to Windows 10, you are actually seeing in the taskbar here at the bottom, Microsoft Edge browser instead of Internet Explorer. So that's why you don't see your favorites because they're still in Internet Explorer. You haven't lost them. So two things that you can do. I personally think Microsoft Edge is a better browser and you should use it. What you can do is go in the top right and little three dots, go into settings, go scroll down to favorite settings and simply make sure you have a check mark in Inter Internet Explorer and click the import button. That means that you will have in the three lines on the upper right all of the favorites from Internet Explorer. And you'll be able to use them and use Microsoft Edge. But maybe that's not what you want. You're used to Internet Explorer. You want to keep Internet Explorer. What do you do? Well, here's the easy part. Simply go into the search for Cortana, type Internet and here you'll see Internet Explorer desktop app appear. Right click on it and simply click pin to taskbar. That will pin the Internet Explorer E. You see it's the blue is lighter and it has this um, yellow or gold bar going across it. That's your Internet Explorer browser and it will have all your favorites you had before. It will have everything you need to use like before it will be exactly the same that you had in your previous version if you've upgraded and kept all of your files so that's the difference and that's why you have don't have everything in um, your computer one last tip you were searching and you don't find it use file explorer and go into your c drive in the c drive simply go into programs not programs x86 just program files and here you'll see internet explorer and you'll see something called iExplore.exe. simply right click on it and of course you can uh, send it if you want so if you right click on it you can send to uh, the desktop create a shortcut if you want and you'll have internet explorer on your desktop if you enjoy my videos, please subscribe to my channel. You'll be informed when new videos are online. Give us a thumbs up if you like the videos. And hopefully, you will continue following us on this channel.